In Washington tonight, House Democrats have just unveiled a sweeping new COVID-19 stimulus package. This is a new package now, and it would become, yet again, the largest relief package in history. It is a $3 trillion dollar bill approved. being called the HEROES Act. It would allow for a new round of payments directly to Americans, Indiana. more money for COVID testing, and more funding for state and local governments. Tonight, 7 Eyewitness News reporter Ali Tui asks a Western New York congressman What's being done to make sure that this region gets its fair share of that money? It's an economic crisis that could pale in comparison to the health crisis. That's according to Republican Congressman Tom Reed, and it's why he's calling on Governor Andrew Cuomo to reopen Western New York. Don't move the goalposts. Let us get back to work to control our own destinies. Reed says the net is too wide for a regional reopening. He believes it should be broken down even further. Are the people of the city of Buffalo going to say it's okay to shut down the city of Buffalo because the situation in Jamestown has caused that uh, region to shut down as a whole. I think we can do better than that. New York was already billions in debt prior to the pandemic. A statewide shutdown increased it to a $15 billion Sorry. deficit. We need $61 billion in federal support or we will wind up aggravating the situation. So we asked Reed what he's doing to make sure New York is represented in the next stimulus package. He says COVID-19 funding isn't meant to solve a pre-existing budget problem and says the package should require aid go directly to local governments instead of allowing state control. You got to have what they call a maintenance of effort provision. And essentially what that says is when we give that local aid to the local governments, the state governments have to keep their hands off that money. We reached out to the governor's press office for a reaction and are waiting for a response. In Lockport, Allie Tui, 7 Eyewitness News.